Hello friends, I am Dragonate, and welcome to another Dragonate Reading Your Answers video. Last week I asked you guys, uh, what is the most valuable part of your collection? And, uh, so you guys answered, and I will be reading your answers in this video. But before we get started, we need a new question for this week. Your question is going to be, what do you like to do on a rainy day? It's a bit of a rainy day for me, as you can see. I'm kidding, this is background with a green screen. But it is actually a rainy day. It's kind of nice in a roundabout way because we've had so much heat and the heat is just ugh, it, 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 it's maddening it's like living inside an oven in here but either way what do you like to do on a rainy day let me know in the comments below and I will read them next week now let's see what your f most valuable part of your collections are so first we have Benny who says now nah, I think they're all like the same value so uh, but there is a Reich mark from 1912 German Empire that's very very rare it's 100 years old and I love this coin very cool. DLT Dav says, but all my rabbits have the same value to me. How am I supposed to answer this? Well, uh, if they all have the same value to you, then that is totally fine. But for some people, they do have a more valuable um, part of their collection than others or something that's like the, the most important to them out of their collection. My mom says there are certain Beanie Babies that were my mom's that I have that are most valuable to me because they were hers. Those I will never get rid of. T. Lisa says, my Raven paintings and my Sekhmet statue I made as my first statue. As for the pennies, they were minted 1909 to 1956. The front is a normal penny, but the back has the words one cent United States of America in between two stalks of wheat. They can be hard to find if you're not working as a store clerk, though, as in actually finding it and not buying it. And that Sekhmet statue, if you guys want to see that, she did post a picture of it up on her Instagram, and it looks very, very pretty. And last but not least, Zincat says, I have a couple of collectible ducks, but none of them are especially expensive. Now, of course, it's time for me to answer, and uh, out of... I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll, I'll go with my knife collection here. So with my knife collection, or blade collection rather, um, I, I would say that I have a few that are most valuable to me. Uh, one of course is the sword, although as I said, the sword, if I were to lose it, it wouldn't be very expensive to replace it. Um, but I, I really love it. The others are all that I have from uh, Ken Richardson, all the um, ones with the, with the leather sheath and the jeweled blade and the beautiful uh, hand, handcrafted handle. Those things are my absolute favorite. And those things, if I were to lose them, it would, it would hurt. It would physically hurt. And they would also be a little bit harder to replace financially. I had something else in my mind that I wanted to say. Now it's not coming to me. So, uh, either way, I guess I'll leave it at that. Uh, today's kind of a really short one. I do have a brand new light though, in case, I don't know if anyone has noticed. Let's see the difference between without and with, it's oh geez, it's one of those ring lights you'll see in the reflection of my glasses here, like like that. You you can see it in, in the reflection in reflection of my glasses. Uh, it's it's really nice so far. I like it. Um, I I was expecting it to be very very bright, and I was trying to figure out a way to actually put it on here, which is very not easy to do. <laughs> so that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget your question for next week. What is your favorite thing to do on a rainy day? Let me know in the comments below and I'll read them next week. Also, don't forget to check out Humble Bundle. This week they have a uh, Brainwave book bundle uh, with a few, quite a few different books in there. They also have a pocket primer book that is kind of about coding so if you want to learn anything about coding you know things like um probably JSON or uh javascript or or other like uh programming languages uh go check that out as well they also have a few others but of course i'm not going to go and explain every single one <laughs> so either way there's a link up that way and also in the description below so go check it out and that is it i will see you guys next week have a wonderful week Bye bye and God bless.